Good afternoon, fam. Another busy day. Quick reminder, this is now your final week to enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash. Every $5 is two automatic entries to win at LMP Gear. Dot com. Any products on the store get you entered. Final week. Don't miss out. This truck could be yours. Um, making a quick trip today to first off the bank. Then we have to go to rent a trailer and then also tow a couple things. So stay tuned. What's going on? Big day. You excited or are you like not excited? For the house? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know you're. I knew that's what you were gonna say. You weren't gonna say anything about all the other stuff we have going no. on today. It's just. I no. live. We live at the bank. That's not exciting. Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> exciting for me. What's going on, Loud and Proud Crowd? Hopefully, guys, are doing absolutely fantastic. We've been starting these videos so much earlier in the day and ending them out later in the day, so you actually like catch the sunrise and sunset all over the glare on my face now in the videos versus like just doing it in the middle of the day. But it, it's all good. So bear with me. But we're on our way to the bank. We're gonna be picking up some cash to buy a part truck later today but that's not all we're doing today we also have to tow the blue extended cap first gen to get the fuel pump fixed because the fuel pump is leaking really bad he said I can't promise I'll get to it today but he said if you drop it off it'll definitely get worked in and taken care of we're gonna go to the bank get some cash we're gonna go to a trailer rental place pick up an 18 foot trailer and then we're gonna go tow that first gen to the shop that it's getting fixed at and then after that we're gonna be taking the trailer to pick up the parts truck. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the parts truck picked up in this video, but we are going to get a full vlog in for you today. Quick little change of plans here. We were in the fourth gen, headed down the road, and forgot that I didn't have a hitch in the truck. And then once I realized I didn't have a hitch in the truck, we went back to the house, couldn't find the adapter for the class two hitch, so we had to take the Cadillac. Now, this video just got a whole lot more interesting because I was not planning on using this car to tow that extended cab truck today. I'm not going very far with it, but this will definitely be interesting. This obviously has some different blind spots and whatnot. You can see in your mirrors and stuff, like that's fine, but you have all of this behind you, which makes it kind of tough to have a good eye on your trailer compared to what it would be like if you had just a pickup truck and then obviously you can see over the bed. Anyways, all that being said, change of plans. Looks like we're gonna be hauling with the Cadillac today. We got her loaded up. Cadillac's hauling an 18 foot car hauler unloaded right now. How do you feel, Reagan? How are you feeling? I can tell you're excited about this, hearing the trailer rattle behind us. She's beyond stoked, as you can tell. We've got the tow haul mode engaged. The trailer's got really good brakes on it and everything else built in so we are good to go we're gonna get to the house actually we got to go to my parents farm first I got to pick up some parts and some straps and stuff and then we're gonna head over to my parents house and uh, load this thing up I'm pretty excited she's not very excited right now but I'm I'm pretty stoked if you're gonna haul a lot and you're not hauling more than about 10,000 pounds this is like the best setup could you agree yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Adaptive cruise control, lane assist. Oh, I'm telling you, you can't beat it. <laughs> this is this is gonna be fun. This is going to be fun. I wasn't planning on using this to haul the regular cab parts truck all the way to uh, all the way back from where we got to pick it up. But depending on how this hauls the extended cab diesel, 15 minutes. If this car doesn't have any struggle doing that, and that'll be pretty much maxing it out, then. I'm very tempted to take it long distance because this thing rides so much softer. How much nicer does this ride of the trailer than the empty trucks, than the heavy-duty truck? A lot better. Oh, it's way better. The, the heavy-duty truck, when you're hauling an empty trailer like this down the road, it's just like a constant little vibration just because the trailer is back there and it's like annoying, but this is actually really, really nice. Here's the big reveal of it empty. Here it is empty. We got the Escalade. Not even squatting in the back. Not even feeling it. Obviously, it's rated for almost 9,000 pounds and it's an empty car hauler. Pretty sure this trailer tilts. I'm not positive though, so we're gonna have to figure that out and find out if it does or not, because if it doesn't, this might suck. Here we go. Oh man. Cadillac Escalade. Is this $100,000 SUV from the factory really capable of hauling what it says it can? What do you think? If it's not, we're returning it. If it's not, we're returning it. That's exactly right. Hopefully this is not a problem. It won't be a problem for picking up the regular cab truck. This trailer, I purchased, not purchased, I rented an 18 foot tandem axle trailer 
That is a 16 foot to the very end of the trailer, which the whole trailer is usable. It's a 16 footer. So here's the problem. If you look at it about here, which the bumper can pull over the backside of that trailer a little bit, you know, and we can strap it down there so the tire can basically hit the back of the trailer, which is that bar, that bump bar back there. To the back tire is just 16 feet. So I'm gonna hope that, I'm gonna take some measurements, but I'm hoping that this bumper can pull over the back of that bar so that I can make sure the tire's fully on the truck. And then what I'm gonna actually do, I know legally I think we're supposed to have four straps, but what I'm gonna do is actually use five or six straps. I have multiple different tie down points and part of it's gonna be to the actual frame of the trailer and part of it's gonna be just to the part that tilts is actually the whole deck. So it should be securely fastened, no problem. We are gonna over strap it down just to be sure. Reagan's gonna be back here in a second with the fourth gen to jump start it. Hopefully this works, hopefully this fits. Get this thing jump started. We got the first gen started. Apparently the first gen had a super loose, like super loose connection to the ground on the battery. So we had to recreate that and get that fixed. We're gonna try to load her up and see what happens. People call me crazy for doing this. Maybe I am a little crazy. Got her loaded down, holy smokes. And I'm a little bit ticked at the place I rented this trailer from. They didn't give me the proper length trailer. I said, I need an 18 footer. They said, okay, we've got one. Roll around back, they roll around back. Well, it's a 16 footer. And I didn't know that until I got here and I'm like, wait a minute, this thing looks, I don't think it's gonna be long enough. I measure out at 16, holy smokes. Mm, wow. Look at this, freaking crazy. Oh my goodness. We're not done, we gotta get two more straps out of the uh, Ford so we can strap up the back end. Wow, it's just, that's crazy. Let me see if I can get a good side shot here. Now the real test is, it's not how good does it look sitting still. The real test is, how does it drive once we get on going down the road. And that's what we're about to find out. I'll let you know, real feedback. Am I impressed with how it drives? With let's say, I wanna say, this vehicle here weighs about 6,500 pounds. I wanna say, this is a heavy duty with a Cummins diesel. Let me just say, it's cause it's got heavier axles, heavier engine, made out of heavier materials. But let's just say conservatively, this is a 7,000 pound truck. A little bit more than the Escalade, just cause it's got a lot more heavy duty stuff, heavier duty frame, axles, engine, whatever, like more heavy stuff. It's probably still really close in weight. And then the trailer itself probably, I wanna just say weighs close to 1,800 pounds. I don't know how much it actually weighs. I could be way off. It could be more like 2,000 pounds. We're about to find out how this thing tows. How good does a $100,000 SUV actually do what it's supposed to? If you notice, the rear end's starting to go up a little bit. It has a factory self-leveling airbag system. I did not even know that. You can hear the airbags running. It just stopped. Holy smokes, it just leveled the thing back out. Wow. Very impressive. And hopefully I'm just as impressed with how it drives and hauls this 7,000 pound beast. Nerves are high right now. I'm telling you what, I'm a nervous wreck. The car's rated, we're right at the max for what this thing is rated for. It breaks good, feels good. It's a lot of weight. For this car, it's a lot of weight. I think it's rating is at like just under 9,000 pounds. It's like 8,900, 8,600. Even though it's technically rated to be able to handle this, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> it, it, I'm pretty nervous. We're telling, so far it feels good. Couple weird little clunky sounds, not in the car though, like in the trailer, like, cause when we stop, the trailer kind of like tilts up a little bit and tilts down so like you can kind of feel it on the hitch like a kind of settles once you're at, at a stop. You don't really feel it back there. Not yet. I mean like in my mind I feel it back there. It's really, I mean, it's just, it drives so nice. It's straight. Nerves are high right now. We're taking it real easy. 
but my nerves are high so <laughs> on edge but we'll see what happens I'll give you a final review once we get it to the shop which is another 10 minutes I'll give you my final take on how it handled how it drove if I was scared beyond what I am now or if my nerves are relieved by the time I make it I'll get back in a sec. Thinking um, right now, Reagan. I know what you're thinking. We look like you've never the biggest rednecks on earth. <laughs> we some hillbillies uh, from the other side of Fort Wayne. Oh my gosh, it was like a freaking business Escalade, hundred thousand dollar car pull on a freaking four thousand dollar truck. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's you funny. already getting look. No, it's actually doing good. No I'm shame. Just, yeah, I'm just no nervous. Shame. I don't know. I feel like if we would have got the longer trail, they actually would give us the right trailer. Those couple inches would have helped. A couple feet. You know what I'm saying? Well, even a couple inches would help right now in this yeah. situation. A couple foot. Like, but. listen, that two more feet, it does make a difference. Some people don't understand trailers, and they're like, oh, dude, it's two foot of trailer. Like, what's the deal? Well, two more foot on the tongue of the trailer, it does help. This is gonna you know be on I mean? somebody's TikTok. Like when you're on, <laughs> like when you're hauling a gooseneck, well obviously it's different, it's a gooseneck, it's centered in the center of the rear end of the truck. They handle so much better and I don't think I've ever seen my dad's gooseneck fishtail even a little bit. Trailer length, it just helps, it just really does. We're almost there. Yeah, we're on a ramp, we're mm. three minutes away, we're on a ramp. So. Going up, here's an acceleration, going up a ramp, not fast. I just um, keep praying. <laughs> I'm just praying this whole time. <laughs> This is gonna be interesting. Oh. Okay, we're going up the ramp. This is probably gonna be the worst part of it all. If we can nope, do this. Don't say that, don't good. say that. We're almost there. It's already shifted down into a lower gear. It's at only, least. It's only a 1500 RPM and it just cruised right up that ramp. At least I know that if I have horses, it'll do it with ease if it can freaking pull this. Ah, okay, okay, we're up. We're on the highway. Okay, we're almost there. So I'll, I'll just start filming the trailer. <laughs> he wants me to make a freaking U-turn. This is. Oh yeah. Okay. So there's Ampro oh, right there. Wait. Oh wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can do this. Okay. So there's Ampro. But I gotta wait until it is like empty, empty. I didn't get into the turn lane right in time because I didn't think I was supposed to turn here, and then I thought I did, and then I thought I wasn't, and so I kind of like didn't. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Oh, One small step for the caddy. Oh my goodness. One giant leap for, me. for our sanity. <laughs> oh shoot. I don't like the popping. I don't like the popping. <laughs> oh, we're almost, okay, we're here. We're here. We're safe. <laughs> Wait a minute, oh, there's, an, there's another Escalade. <laughs> and a Porsche. <laughs> we're showing this other Escalade up. Yeah. Like, yo bro, you need to pull what this up? crap. Now we have to get in reverse. Mm. Can you see okay? Yeah. You got telomeres on here. I ain't got no telomeres, but surprisingly, you can see around this thing pretty darn good. In the trailer, Where are we supposed to park? It handles so well. Like, I'm actually very thoroughly impressed right now. Well, that's a bad day. No, it is that girl we were just talking about. I thought she turned off. Right. It was that same girl. That's crazy. She came flying past us, wove right in between me and another car. I'm in the left lane, they're in the right lane, and like bumper, almost bumper kissing both of us, just swerves right in between us, and I actually laid on my horn. I was like, what an idiot. Like just the dumbest thing. She's got a baby in the car. Well, she flies through this intersection and gets smoked by a cop pulls her over well we figured out why the truck was fishtailing a little bit and it wasn't because of the vehicle and you know anything has had to do with that hitch that they gave us I didn't realize it until we got to the office my dad's office and I went inside that trailers at a really steep angle and I didn't realize how bad it was until I got out and I was like standing back like 20 feet away looking at it and it's on like a very sharp grade going up what that does is it kind of takes the weight away from the tongue I don't know it's more just like pulling the weight versus kind of supporting it on the tongue of the trailer like when you're towing and so then it just kind of it doesn't know what to do and that's why it kind of goes side to side because the trailer supporting most of the weight and the car is hardly supporting it so it's just kind of like teeter-tottering and just kind of making it 
fishtail kind of go back and forth well fam we're back back to the parents i was hoping to have this thing back here with another truck on it however plans kind of changed we had some stuff that we had to print off and fill out documentation for other stuff that my bank needed and a, an insurance company needed and just stuff like that that we just business stuff you just got to deal with and so by time everything was all said and done we, it had killed another two hours and i'm like okay now we're two hours behind and by the time we get home, it's gonna be like 10.30 or so. And that's if everything goes to plan and you don't have any issues and you can actually go to the speed and everything else. Let me show you, and this is, the jacks dropped, but I didn't crank it up yet. This is exactly how the trailer sat when we were towing just now. Look how that would make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Let me step back and give you a little bit better perspective. The reason why this would make me a little uncomfortable is you see how, even look at the tire spacing in the wheel well. It's not level at all it almost like comes up to a point how it comes up like that and then the trailer comes up especially with the rear self-leveling airbag system in this cadillac it like the rear end stays as high as it can and the trailer does that so what you get is like this teeter-totter effect on the back end and then the weight's just not properly distributed between the vehicle and the trailer and then if you look here you'll see this at like a steep angle see that you see what i'm saying that's supposed to sit fairly level not like level level but more level than that that's all i'm trying to say this is where we're going to unhook it we're actually going to hook up the fourth gen i was telling my wife i said you know what like i kind of want to get rid of that truck but part of me is like it would be kind of nice to have a truck like that that's newer nicer i can use it to haul stuff like this and actually buy an 18 to 20 foot trailer so we can go and pick up projects every time we got to do it because what we do right now is we drive one vehicle down we buy it and we drive two vehicles back and when you're going a couple hours that gets tiring and that's something that we do every single month multiple times usually let me know what you guys think should we buy a car hauler and i would say gooseneck but we just that's just a little bit unnecessary for us that's probably going to be the conclusion of this video how much abuse can the cadillac take let me tell you this thing rode super silky super smooth and even for being the improper hitch on this thing in terms of levelness it handled it very very well kept its composure i guess you could say and drove with ease literally didn't even go over 2500 rpm it was so so nice so smooth cadillac's ride really soft it's not so spongy that it doesn't handle it well because of the airbag system on it it actually rode really firm in the rear but comfortably firm and in the front you still have that nice smooth ride what do i rate this from a scale of one to ten i'll give it a 10 out of 10 for what it's claiming to be capable of and this was from my little test this this is just like a 10 mile test 10 mile to 20 ish 15 to 20 minute test and we stayed at the speed limits we were able to haul no problem it's a luxury family suv that's rated for i think 8600 pounds and we probably may have just overdid that i don't know how much but we definitely just went over that i'm sure between the trailer and truck weight anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did smash that thumbs up leave your comments down below on what you're thinking and all the questions that i asked throughout the video if you want to enter to win our 2001 73 power stroke with five thousand dollars of cold hard cash you're down to the last week and then that giveaway is gone forever and ever amen so thank you guys so much enter while you can every five dollars two entries a win and you can take that truck home thank you guys so much i'll catch you in the next video peace